All right, the Green Line is getting an upgrade. The MBTA just announced the newest model, and, well, they're boldly asking for your feedback. NBC10's Oscar Margain is in Boston at City Hall Plaza for us, where the train is on display. Folks have been showing up to City Hall to take a look at the brand new Green Line model trains here. They really like the design, but especially the new features like level platform, the accessibility ramp right over here. And if you check out inside, you can also take a look at larger displays. Now, some people have also noted that the seats may be a little uh, shallower and the walkway is a bit narrower than the current trains. But that's exactly why the MBTA put this out here to try to get people's feedback, give a chance to come on board, push the buttons, even get on the driver's seat. The MBTA says these Type 10 trains are the most accessible yet and have a lot more capacity. They're 40 feet longer than the current ones. Now, some of the other features include automated announcements, real-time information on those displays, and more emphasis on accessibility, which is a big deal for many riders. It's a huge deal when I we rely on public transportation for most of our getting around, and sometimes it's really hard to actually feel like I can use it safely and comfortably so the fact that we could actually participate and like, hey, I don't think this is going to work for me or hey, I'm seeing folks in wheelchairs actually coming and being able to use it. I'm seeing folks who might have vision impairment. So if you haven't checked out the trains you have until 7 tonight to come on over and play around and ask questions. There's a lot of MBTA representatives out here trying to do that exactly all day long right here. Now, the initial rollout is going to happen in 2027 and the full replacement of the old trains is expected in 2031. Reporting in Boston, Oscar Margain, NBC10 Boston.